Hey, welcome back to another video for JSON text uh, formatting and saving to text files. So you can see on my screen that I have several classes. I have a class called car and car has five properties. Then I have another property or another class called class or cars list. And the single property in here is a list of cars. And then finally, we are going to uh, work with a testing script and we're going to save this to a JSON file. So in the previous video, we set up these uh, four cars and added them to a class list. Now it's time to create a function that we're going to use to do the management of the data. So I'm going to make a new class and I'm going to call it data management. And this is just uh, without the main function. So finish. So I'm going to create two functions in data management. One's called read all data and the other one is write all data. So you notice the errors that says you need to data type in here. So it's either a void or some kind of a uh, property. So on the uh, write all data, I'm going to start with the word void. And then inside of here, it's going to give us something that it expects to write. So this is going to be a list of cars. So we'll call this car list and we'll call it uh, the list. So the parameter that we're expecting is going to be from car list or actually it should be called cars list. There we go. And then for the return type on the read all data, this is also going to be something called cars list. And it will return something from the read all data. So now we come to the point where we're going to install a custom library. So we're going to use a library called Jackson, which is used for parsing and reading and writing JSON formatted data. So you need to be introduced to a new concept in your uh, code editor called Maven. So I'm going to uh, right click on the project title and choose configure and then look for the item that says convert to Maven project. And let's choose that. So what is Maven you ask? Well, Maven is a dependency manager program. It's built into the default installation of Eclipse. At least it should be. If it's not installed here, you're going to have to add a new com uh, component to make Eclipse work properly. But it should be ready to go. So Maven will automatically download libraries if we know what we're looking for. So I'm just going to check all the defaults and click Finish. Now at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a new uh, a new project in our new item in our project called POM, P-O-M, and XML is the file format. So here is the screen for this Maven dependency. There's different ways to look at what we've added to our library. You can see that the dependencies are empty right now. And then the most uh, illustrative part is POM.XML. We can see what's going on with all the details in one screen. So I mentioned that we're going to use Jackson and I just have to let you Google this to find the results. So I'm going to Google and I'm, go I'm going to search for Jackson data bind and, uh, and we're looking for something in uh, Java. So you can see the search results here for Jackson data bind and I'm going to pick the first link which is a GitHub project. And inside of here there should be a description of what the project does and down below it says get it and you see the first reference to any dependency manager is maven maven's very popular so we could copy and paste these things into our xml file and it tells you to copy and paste a few more things now let's go and just let eclipse do the work for us so i'm going to switch back to eclipse so instead of copying and pasting our file in our xml code i'm going to go back to dependencies and choose add so in, this, in the second uh, tier, it says, you want to search for something? I'm going to search for Jackson. And you can see that I have three items. Jackson data bind is the one I'm interested in. And I believe it'll automatically include the other two. They're some kind of a dependency as well. But that's the nice part about Maven, is you don't know what actually the dependencies are, but Maven will take care of it for you. It looks like version 298 is the current one. So let's click OK. So let's switch back into our web browser and we can see that uh, 297 is what they've published here, but for some reason we have a 298, a little bit newer. So what happened after I clicked add? 
Let's double check here. Let's go back to palm.xml and you can see some new information. So it added a new section called dependencies and save our results. So let's save everything. And you should see a new folder appear in your branch of your project called Maven Dependencies. And sure enough, we have annotations and core listed. So those are jar files. Those are uh, compiled Java uh, code that have been downloaded automatically to our computer. So palm XML and we have an issue. So let's take a look at the issue here. I hover over dependency and it says missing artifact. So, you know, I was really puzzled about this for a long time. And so I had to come back and check this video again. I'm switching back to dependencies here and I'm going to make one change. So selecting this item, notice it says bundle here. I'm going to modify the properties, change this type from bundle into jar and click OK. And then if I switch back to Palm, save the results, the error goes away. Now I could probably figure out where that is. I changed something in here. I really don't see the change, but I just know that it, it's happy to work now. So away we go. Okay, so now we've got this dependency. We've installed it. It looks like the errors are clear. What does Jackson DataBind allow us to do that we couldn't do before? Let's switch back into data management.java and we'll see a new class that's available. It's called object mapper and I'm just going to call it uh, OM equals a new object mapper. Now you're going to ask what an object mapper is, but first of all, we have to import it. Notice it has an option for import from this dot com faster XML Jackson data bind and away it goes. So you're going to have to wait till the next video to see what Object Mapper does. We just got to the point now where we have figured out how Maven works and we can see that Maven Dependencies has been added to our list. We have Data Bind, Annotations, and Core. It looks like those are all successfully imported here and uh, we're ready to move on to the next video where we're going to um, actually do some writing to the files.